Hello my amazing artists. Today I'm going to show you how to create a pendulum using items that you'll have at home and we're going to paint with them. What you'll need is a plastic or styrofoam cup, a pencil, some paint, water, and yarn or some type of string. If you have a styrofoam cup you will be able to create the pendulum without your parents help. If you do not have one, which I didn't have a styrofoam cup, your parents will need to help you create the holes. If you have a styrofoam cup, take a pencil and you will gently press until you get a hole into one side of the cup. Then on the opposite side of the cup, where the lid's at, you're gonna do the same thing, press and make a hole. If you do not have the styrofoam cup, your parents and your parents only can use a nail and heat it up with a candle or something and they can create a hole in the cup that way. You're going to do the same thing for the bottom of the cup. You'll need a hole in the bottom. So if you have a styrofoam cup, just gently press until you get a hole. But if you have a plastic one, you can uh, do the same way that I just showed you. All right, so the reason we have the holes on the top of the cup you need to cut a piece of yarn or string and you're going to guide it through the sides of the cup. My dogs are here helping me. Let's cut this. I didn't make my hole big enough, so you may have that problem too of your holes not big enough for your yarn to go through. So you can twist the ends of it, push it through, and then just pull through the ends. All right, once you have both sides of the yarn through your cup, it should look like this. You will tie a knot at the top. Remember in class I showed you you could put the two pieces together, make a loop, and put the tail through the loop and pull. That'll give you a nice knot. From there I want you to cut the extra part off. You're going to get another piece of string and you're going to tie it to your loop. So what I did here is just like you tie a shoestring. You cross it over, under, through the hole, and pull. And then you can cut the tail part off if you want. Now I don't know how long of a string I'm going to need, so I'm just going to keep it on the ball. If you know how long of a string you need, you can unroll it. So the next part is we need to mix our paint. And I have a good bit of acrylic paint in here. If you do not have acrylic paint, you can use whatever paint you have at home. Maybe even try water with a little bit of food color, coloring in it. But as you can see, the acrylic paint is really thick. I need to thin it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put twice as much water as I have paint to thin it out. So that's one, two. I'm going to mix it up. You want the consistency of maybe milk. If you have it too thick, your um, paint's not going to go through the hole that you made in your cup. And if it's too runny, you're not going to get the smooth lines when you're doing the pendulum painting. Alright. So now you can see it's the consistency of milk. Next, we're going to go hang this up and then pour the paint in. All right, so I want you to find somewhere in your backyard that you can tie your string to. This is something my husband had in our backyard, so I tied the string to here. And as we go down, you'll see that I have my cup. You want to make sure your cup is balanced on your string. Make sure it's a couple inches off the ground. We don't want it touching the ground because we want the paint to be able to flow a little bit. 
What I want you to do is remember there's a hole in the bottom of your cup. You need to put your finger over the hole. You're then going to pour your paint into the cup. Place your paper up under wherever you want it to go. And then we're going to stand up and release it. Now, before you do this, make sure that you're in an area to where your parents do not mind if you get paint on the ground because there's going to be a lot of paint that gets moved around and on the ground and not on your paper. All right, so I'm going to stand up. And as I release it, I'm not just going to release it out. I'm going to swing it a little bit. So let's watch. Mm -hmm.